Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Lafave, and today we are on part two of using complementary or contrasting colors in a floral piece together. And today we are working with purple and yellow. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we are doing our second complementary color video. We're working on purple and yellow. So what you guys may not know is that the order that I film things in may not be the order that they are coming out. Um, I actually filmed the red and green complementary color video first before I filmed this. Um, so what I did in that video, which you won't see till after this one airs, is I actually cut up pieces of paper and I swatched all the colors on these little pieces of paper. It's gonna be easier to create your little color palette for your painting after. So you can just grab some scrap paper. This is Canson watercolor paper that I just cut up into little pieces. I think I had them originally in strips, um, but it'll just be easier to swatch and create your color palette this way. So that's what I'm painting on for this. And then I'm gonna use my Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook. I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors in my palette, my Craftimo size 10 round brush, water, paper towel, and we're ready to go. So if you have not watched my first video on complementary colors, I'm just going to give you a refresher. Complementary or contrasting colors are the colors that sit directly across from each other on the color wheel. So yellow and purple is what we're working on today. We already did orange and blue and green and red are the last two. So mixing equal parts of those complementary colors are going to make a shade of brown, um, but you can also use those complementary colors to mix to mute a tone. So if I wanted to mute a purple, I could add a little bit of yellow to it. If I wanted to mute a yellow, I could add a little bit of purple to it. We're also gonna be mixing those complementary colors with colors that are next to it on the color wheel to have like a purpley blue, um, a reddish purple, and it's gonna just give us more options on how to use these colors in a painting because even if it's like a reddy purple or a bluey purple it still has that purple undertone and it's going to create harmony while paired with a tone of yellow so let's get mixing create a bunch of different colors um let's start with swatching the purples i have so the purples i have i only have two purples in my palette i have dioxazine purple and the other one i have is mauve this one is actually not one of the professional colors the professional Winsor & Newton mauve is quite granulated and I don't like that. So I actually have the Cotman version. So here are my two purples that I have. Let's create some more purples. So let's start by mixing some purple with green, which actually kind of creates a gray if you do it half and half. But if you add a little bit of green, it kind of adds this grayish tinge to it and it creates this nice deep purple. Let's try mixing green with the mauve and see what color we get. It's also gonna kind of mute it because it has that component of yellow in it because yellow and blue make green. So it's gonna mute it a little. Okay, so there we have those. We can make it more pink. Um, let's try mauve and pink. It's gonna create kind of like this magenta color. Let's try and mix dioxazine purple with pink. I should have cleaned my palette first, but I didn't. And it creates this beautiful like berry color almost. That's really nice, I like that color. Let's mix with our blues. So I'm gonna grab some mauve over here and you can mix it with all your blues. You can mix it with a couple of your blues like there's, like I've said in the other video, there's tons of mixtures that you could do. It's just like, it's impossible to do them all. So just try your best. Let's make a bluey purple, like an indigo, just so pretty. Let's add a bit more purple. That's so pretty. Let's do mauve with some turquoise. That kind of creates like a dioxazine purple almost. Okay, and now let's add its complementary color to it to try and get some more muted tones. It's gonna to be similar to these two. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of purple, put it here, a little bit of mauve, 
put it here and then I'm gonna grab some yellow and add it to it. Now half and half, I don't know, I don't think that's in frame. Yeah, it's not in frame. It makes brown, okay? So that means I need to add a bit more purple to it. And again, it's just muting it. You're probably gonna get a similar tone to that or that one I think it was. A bit darker though, which is really nice. It's kind of like a plum color. And then mauve with a bit of yellow, just like a bit of yellow. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. Just a bit of yellow, mauve. Let's create some magenta. That's cool. Okay, so there are our purples that we're gonna work with. Now let's start mixing some yellows. Okay, so the yellows I have in my paint palette, they're kind of dirty, it's fine. Just keep washing it. I have lemon yellow, which is like super bright. I have cadmium yellow, which is like an almost like an orangey yellow. And then I have a yellow ochre, which I really like. I actually use that quite often. Okay. Now, there's not too many directions you can go with yellows. Um, I feel like there's not as many combinations um, as there are with like some other colors, but we can have like, so if we're doing a bouquet, you want some leaves in it, right? You can make the green kind of yellowish and it will still complement those purples really nicely because it has that hint of yellow. So let's make like a yellowy green. So I'm gonna grab my lemon yellow, mix it with this green here. You get this like kind of lime green, which I like, but it has that yellowy tint to it, so it still counts. Okay, let's mix maybe even a bit of cadmium yellow. A bit more. That one's a bit more olivey, limey green. <laughs> okay, let's mix maybe just like a bit, let's do the purple, okay? So I'm gonna take our purples and we're just gonna add, actually here, I'm gonna take our yellows. I really should have cleaned this palette before I did this. I'm not always prepared, <laughs> kind of a mess. Okay, just gonna throw it there. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of our purple just to tone it down just a bit. See how it's kind of like getting like this brownish color? Let's grab a bit more of that yellow. Okay, it mutes it. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's add a little bit of purple to our cadmium yellow. And it almost creates kind of like a yellow ochre color. So you don't even have to buy yellow ochre, you can just add a little bit of purple to cadmium yellow and it kind of makes that yellow ochre color. See, I think one of these is yellow ochre and it's very similar. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there with the yellows. A combination I'm really liking, I'm really liking this like lime green with this purple. So now this is where we decide on our color palette. Okay, so now that we have all of our swatches done, um, we can actually start to play around with different color palettes. So the first thing I like to do is pick out the ones that jump out at me the most. I'm really liking this like deep bluish purple color with this like kind of like lime green, but also I wanna make sure I put in some yellow. So maybe like some softer yellows here, um, this kind of like purpley pink yellow, and then maybe some dark purpley green for some contrast. Kind of liking this like orangey, or actually like the yellow ochre. Do I want something bright like that? I don't know, you just kind of have to play around with like different color combinations to see which way you wanna go with this. Um, so I feel like I'm gravitating more towards those. So I'm just gonna move these guys out of the way. And obviously you don't have to just stick to that color palette necessarily. It's kind of more of a guide, but I really do love this like bluish color. And then I kind of want to decide, do I want my piece to be a bit more yellowy or purple? Um, which color do I really want to be like the hero of the piece? So I think um, I did try one first before um, that was a bit more on the purpley side. So I'll just show you quickly. 
this one, which I really like, but I felt like it didn't have enough yellow. So I'm going to try and go a bit more yellow this time with little accents of purple. So I'm going to try and keep some of these in frame. <laughs> it's very hard. There's not a lot of room here. Just as kind of like color inspiration. Um, but I'm thinking maybe doing some like sunflowers with like little like bluish purple delphiniums. I also have two water jars here, one for yellow, one for purple, so I can keep them separated because if you use your yellow water with your purple, then you're gonna get brown water and everything's gonna get muddy. So it's good to have two jars. Okay, so let's let's start with some yellow flowers. I did clean out this part of the palette so I could actually add a bit more yellow. So I'm just gonna throw some yellows in there. And another thing you want to keep in mind is that they don't all have to be vibrant. You want to kind of mix up the contrast of like lighter values and darker values. So I'm just going to throw all my yellows here just to see, because I feel like I might use them all in a sunflower. So I'm going to start off with like the lemon yellow. And we're going to do kind of like a, a sunflower vibe here. I'm just going to do some short petals on the side so it's like it's facing this way. longer petals on this side. Remember this is loose so it doesn't have to be perfect either. Okay I'm gonna grab in some cadmium yellow, put it in there like that and then a bit of yellow ochre maybe towards the center a bit more. Maybe at some of the tips. Okay and then I think I'm going to do another one down here. So shorter petals this way so it looks like it's different perspective. And then longer petals this way so it looks like it's kind of facing down a bit. And just water your colors down a bit if you want that softer yellow look. The more pigment you have, the brighter it will be. The more water you have, the more the lighter the value will be. Grab our yellow ochre, a bit more. Like so, I might bring that in a bit more too. Okay, a little bit at the tips, like so. And then before some of those dry, I'm gonna get some of this like lime green in there. I want it to kind of bleed into these petals just a little because I like that look. So another thing you need to keep in mind um, when you're mixing your colors, like I'm pretty good at um, recreating a color just by eyeballing it, but that's because I've been doing this for a very long time. I've been mixing colors for a while, so I kind of have that that ability to just kind of look at a color and be like, oh, what did I use to mix that? So if you don't, if you're not as familiar with color mixing, when you're doing your swatches, take some time to really um, like write down your color mixes, okay? Um, now I'm gonna create a brown, but I'm gonna use a purple undertone. So I'm gonna grab some of my purple here and I'm just gonna mix some yellow into it, maybe a bit more purple. I'm gonna wash it off just a bit to make it lighter and not a lot of paint. I don't want it to bleed too much. Okay, I'm just gonna do dots around because I don't want it to bleed too, too much into the flower. It can bleed a bit, but not too, too much. And if it does, you can just mop it up and try again if you like. And I'm gonna grab a bit more now, make it a bit darker. I do like it when it bleeds into it just a bit. Okay, like that. Let's get some of that, this like mauve color. Maybe we'll do a couple pansies. So that was here. So I'm gonna grab a bit of permanent rose, a bit of dioxazine purple. Okay, we're gonna do like maybe some small pansies. Gotta remember to use my purple water. Sometimes I mix and that's that's okay. I forget. 
we all forget. <laughs> okay, making it nice and light to start. I know this kind of looks like a mess. It will look more like a pansy after. I'm gonna grab a bit more pigment and tap it at the edges at the bottom here. And then make it a bit darker at the top. And then again, around the edges a bit if you want. Then, oh, I wanted my yellow water again. Um, then I'm gonna take some cadmium yellow, maybe a little bit of lemon yellow, and just tap it in the center. And then we'll do a bit more detail on that later. I think I'm gonna do another little pansy down here, maybe a bit more of a different color. I should grab a bit more purple. Let's grab some of that mauve color. I'll do another one down here. I'm going to make it a little bit flatter, like it's on kind of like a side view of it. Make it a bit lighter towards the center. I know these do not look like pansies. <laughs> they look weird. It's all good. Get a bit more color. Bring it down. Around the sides. I'm going to grab a bit more dioxazine purple. I feel like I have the toughest time with the yellow and purple mix. I don't know why. I just always find it's my least favorite to work with. I don't know why. Even though they look beautiful together, I just, it doesn't come as natural to me. A little bit of cadmium yellow and you just tap it because you don't want to mix it because then it will turn brown. All right, let's do, I think I'm gonna do another sunflower over here just to kind of balance it out. Let it bleed into the purple just a bit. Bit of cadmium yellow. And then our yellow ochre. Get back there. Then we can take that brown color. I might go a bit darker later. Later. Grab a bit of that green. Just a bit. Let's fill it in there. I think I need some more. So sap green, I think it was like yellow with it. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna create some darker green too. So we had that dioxazine purple and the hooker's green mix. So I might just, especially where the pansies are, Get a bit of contrast. Maybe a bit more around here. bit more okay and then I'm going to use this color which was the dioxazine purple and a bit of turquoise I'm just going to move these out of the way to do kind of like some delphiniums a little bit, so I have some purple. Let's get some dioxazine purple, I'll just put it here for now. So 
some turquoise. So I get this bluey purple. Wash it off just a bit and I'm just gonna do these kind of fluffy flowers. Taking a lot of that pigment off to make it nice and light and then I'll go back in with some darker pigment. Or it can even be kind of like, um, what's it called? Hydrangeas. See, now I'm gonna grab a bit more pigment. Just drop it in. Like that. So it's always good to start with like light. Let's make this hydrangeas. I feel like it's a bit more hydrangea-y looking. You can even grab a bit of mauve, drop it in there to have like different kind of, I think my dog's coming upstairs. You can have mauve, purple, like that. Some darker bits. Maybe some darker bits closer to where there would be like a bit of a shadow. We can even do some down here after. Hold on, let me just wash some of this off. Make it more of a rounded hydrangea up here. Like that, I'm gonna do some here just to balance it out. Just like there's a bit of a bit more purple. Pretty. Like that. And then you can go in and add like the centers, like the dots in the center of the hydrangea and some of those little white areas. It's just like a dot. That, then I'm gonna grab that dark green again. So the dioxazine purple and the hooker's green. I'm gonna grab some over here. Lighten some up with water. And then I'm going to do some little like blue and yellow fillers, like up here and down here a bit. So because yellow is down here, I'm gonna put some uh, like really light little blue, not blue, sorry, purple. Purple fillers. You could do some like lavender. Let's add some mauve in there. And we'll add some stems after. Put some over here just to kind of frame that yellow. Like that. And I'm going to do a bit more yellowy ones up there. I'm just going to grab all my yellow. Maybe these ones are going to be a bit bigger. Can do a couple around whatever speaks to you 
Okay. And I'm going to wait for those to dry just a little bit. I'm going to do a bit more detail on these sunflowers. So I'm going to grab a bit more um, of the <laughs> yellow ochre. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just going to do some, because it's dry, just some, or maybe some cadmium yellow. Just some sharper petals just to give it a bit more dimension. Maybe a bit of lemon yellow. Just because I feel like they're looking a little flat. But it's totally up to you and your own preference. Just to get some separation in some of those petals. Like that. And then I'm gonna grab that brown again. So I'm just gonna make a bit more brown. I'm gonna take some yellow ochre up here, dioxazine purple, make it darker. And then I'm just gonna do some dots on top. More to just like one side. For the dark parts. And you can wash your brush off just a little bit. Have a little bit left. And just do some lighter brown dots. Just make sure there's not too much water on your brush. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. My size six. And I'm gonna grab some sap green. Try to make sure there's not a lot of water and paint on your brush when you do the little filler stems because you don't want it to bleed too much into like the little buds and stuff. So I'm just making these little stems and then I'm doing like little leaves coming off of the stems. Just connecting them. And you can do like just separate little. Okay, so fun story. Um, my phone ran out of storage and I just had to delete it, but I didn't know that and I painted the rest. So I think we left off <laughs> with me just creating these little stems. I'm so sorry about this, guys, but I can't redo it again. I've already done two, so I'm just going to walk you through what I did. I created the little stems, making sure you don't have too, too much water. Um, creating some separate little stems, too, just to poke out around the purple. Did the same thing for the yellow. So see, I have the ones connecting to the buds, but then little fillers here of just plain green. It just helps it look a bit more full. And then lastly, with the pansies, I took some of the dioxazine purple and did some of the little details on the pansies to make it actually look like pansies. And that is about it. So I hope I covered everything. I can't believe my phone did that. Of course it did. But it's just, it's just what, hap it's just what happens. It's fine. Um, so yeah, there you go. So like I mentioned before, I did do a different one that was a bit more purple heavy. This one was okay. It wasn't my favorite, um, but it just goes to show that you need to kind of like play around, see what works best. I kind of like how this one's a bit more balanced with the colors, um, but do whatever works for you and do multiple versions of them. Try different color palettes, try different color combinations um, and just have fun. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.